and Ryan. Hi, my name is Kit Lancaster with GCG Financial. I'm here starting an eGuru series on veteran entrepreneurs. Our first guest, Les Hellman, Double Helix. Uh, Les, tell us a little bit about yourself. Where are you from? Uh, I'm from Northern California, uh, specifically uh, the East Bay, a town called Pleasanton. And um, I grew up uh, pretty much throughout the Bay Area between uh, Berkeley, Oakland, and San Francisco. Very nice. Now, you are a prior service Marine. What, uh, what compelled you to join the Marines? Well, um, as you know, kid, when you go to college and you're 17, 18, you don't really um, know what the world has in store for you. But uh, having family members who were prior service, um, I felt uh, a calling, and I went to my Marine recruiter, and they said, well, you're going to school. Have you thought about officer candidate school? So um, I went to officer candidate school um, while I was in college, and um, it was a great opportunity while a lot of my friends were doing internships and externships for me to get um, a real world view of what uh, was in store for me after I graduated. Now, with your, with your time in the Marines and being a Marine Corps officer, how did that prepare you for what you're doing today with Double Helix? Uh, actually, my path was um, a little different than most um, Marine Corps officers. Uh, just uh, after I finished uh, OCS in Quantico, um, I was offered a job with a um, uh, telecommunications startup. So back when the um, dot-com uh, boom was going before the bubble burst, um, I accept. I decided not to accept my commission and stayed in the reserves. And I worked for .dot uh, com back in the '90s. So fast forward to the future. Um, right now, Chicago is going through a huge um, time of innovation, and the community here has been very, very accepting to entrepreneurship. So ironically, I'm back um, <laughs> in the Midwest, um, not in Silicon Valley, doing a health technology startup. So tell us about Double Helix, what, what your challenges are, how you started this business, what problems you're looking to solve. Well, being a health technology startup, um, that's a pretty big um, bubble to, um, you know, umbrella to kind of um, uh, fit underneath. But what I saw, um, not only being a young man, but um, having some um, clinical experience uh, was that it's very difficult for people to get access and also have the time and resources to get quality health care. Um, as you know, uh, generally men don't uh, ask for help, and it's, no. not, it's not until we're falling no. down sick that we actually will um, uh, seek out physicians or medical help. So um, what I saw an opportunity to do was bring technology to bear and try and make it more convenient for people to stay healthy instead of going to the doctor when they're sick. Outstanding. You know, with Double Helix, um, what challenges have you had in getting off the ground and taking your business to execution? Well, um, that's a good question. I'll tie it back to the Marine Corps. Um, you know, they train us uh, as infantrymen first, um, but more importantly, they stress leadership. And uh, if I had to say um, what's made uh, me and my team most successful was um, uh, being able to really focus in and solve problems and uh, to really accomplish tasks. One of the um, uh, initial hurdles that uh, entrepreneurs have is um, really starting and getting going. You know, there's a lot of planning that needs to be done for execution, but uh, really taking that next step uh, was a big hurdle. But I think um, you know, my training uh, while I was in the reserves and going through OCS helped me really um, focus on mission accomplishment and attention to detail. Attention, yes, attention <laughs> to detail. You know, once you get out, it's um, it's it's almost like a lost start in certain instances. You can definitely tell who has it, who doesn't. I can empathize with that myself. You know, lastly, what would you like to tell our uh, our community here, maybe even fellow veterans looking to start businesses, um, what, what piece of advice would you give them if, if they're about to start that journey, maybe they just started that journey? Wow. Um, there are a lot of resources, um, you know, including, um, you know, professions currently in the field like Kid and myself. Um, we were just recently talking about how nobody really teaches you how to be an entrepreneur. Uh, so I would definitely uh, recommend anybody thinking about going into this interesting field um, to definitely not hesitate to ask for help, um, look to other veterans and others in the entrepreneurial community um, to help guide the way. Um, it's a lot easier to walk in uh, other people's footsteps than to always uh, try and create your own. Thank you. Thank you very much for your time today. Please, to find out more information, go to meetadvisors.com. There'll be more information about this interview. Less Double Helix, and our friends here at Meet Advisors. Thank you. Thank you.